Hey everybody. <clears throat> so Piper Dave did a video showing how he he uh, stores his tobacco, how he sellers it, jars it as it were. Um, this is a simple method. I'm sure a lot of you guys have something similar, but I thought I'd put this out mainly because I need to jar this up anyway. This is that spice rum I was given. So I only use the wide mouth jars. One, I, bet I got a big fat hand, and if I want to get any of my tobacco, I'm going to need to have a wide mouth. But two, impromptu, I made this funnel. And uh, just cut a side out so you can dump a bag in there, and there's almost no spilling. Uh, I don't waste anything. And if I overfill it, I can you know get down in there and either remove it or pack it down a little bit. And then when I'm done, I had to print this out ahead of time because I'm recording with my phone, so I couldn't print with my phone. But this is a uh, thermal image printer, and this is on this is sticker paper you get with it. So just Bluetooth, you know, you take your image, make your text, and I can print it and not worry about my horrible handwriting. Um, and so everybody knows what's in there. Dump some in there. It's a little over full. Now I can either dump it back in there, but because this is just a little full, just pack it down a little. Boom. Because this is a working jar, I don't vacuum seal these. Take the rest, this big one, Let's in frame a little bit, and nice and slow. Looks like I'm going to need a second jar, not the end of the world. And the way that this big gulp cup fix fits in there, I can just Dump some right back in. Perfect. I try not to overhandle the tobacco. I, uh, I'm real big on general cleanliness, despite my appearance at times. And It's important to me to, to handle stuff like this that you're going to consume as little as possible. Now granted, it doesn't really matter because you burn this one, but as a general practice, I try and keep it up. Plus, you know, if I ever have any of you guys come over and you want some tobacco, you can know that it is as clean as I can make it without having to... Uh, buy a whole bunch of extra gloves and stuff because actually some people in my household, uh, my kids actually have some general allergies to uh, latex and whatnot. So I don't really, I try and keep that stuff out of the house. So one second, I will be right back and I'll show you the vacuum sealer. All right, and I'm back. So you don't use this ring with this vacuum sealer because this is an aromatic it doesn't need to doesn't need the extra oxygen there in there to age so this is going to ensure that it stays exactly the way it came or at least as close as I can reasonably achieve so this thing was like $15 on Amazon originally it felt like a um, kind of a financial risk but I do think it's going to work out so it runs through a 60 second cycle. It pulls a vacuum in the chamber, which pops the lid up, and then it continues to pull a vacuum. And then once it stops, it relaxes and the lid seals back down. Let that run. And then 
HGR gets two labels. And I can, you can label before or after, it'll still pull a vacuum with a label on the jar. Cut off the excess. This is where you have to be really careful. So slowly work this off because if the seal didn't take and the jar is really full, you can just fling tobacco everywhere. Ask me how I know. Cool. So that's on there. Get the label on. Sutliff Tobacco Company, Spice Drum 700. That seal's really good right now. There's no retaining ring on here, and we're good. Just throw this somewhere on the jar. And I always use fresh jars. Um, I know I could reuse them if I were to uh, um, <clears throat> wipe them down with, with alcohol, properly let them cure. I'm in a house with kids and dogs and um, sometimes that's really hard to guarantee. Like I said, I'm kind of big on general cleanliness. so. Two labels per jar. I'm going to have to print out two more because I added a jar to this batch. Didn't think I had that much. Try not to compress it too much. And, well, there we go. Uh, thank you. Hey guys, I just wanted to add one more thing. Um, let me know if you want to see how I, I do the, uh, the pouches and whatnot. Um, I just do those in a food saver uh, vacuum storage system. If they're like tobaccos or the same <clears throat> pouch, like so I have all the Captain Blacks in one pouch because they're pretty well sealed in their pouches. Um, but like I have one of each of the Missouri Meerschaum pouches and they are they are all sealed together, sort of like a set. But uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Um, if not, once again, thanks for watching. Thank you.